say I've been getting tatted. They say they like my thing. Yeah, I say that I'm flattered. They ask me where I've been. I say I've been getting tatted. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just gonna be going over where the purge valve is on the M52 engine. Now, as you guys know, this is a very, very critical component for your emissions control. And when this fails, it will end up throwing a check engine light and probably reducing all your power. Now, what the purge valve does, it ends up stopping all the vapors from the fuel tank escaping into the atmosphere. And when it fails, it can leave you with your car cutting out and also with sometimes your car not even not starting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my E60, I'm gonna show you on the M52 engine how to locate this and how to get to it very easily. So let's get it in and I'm gonna show you what to do next. So guys, this is the M52 engine as you guys will see right here. And now a lot of you will have the one with a black valve cover, but the EVAP system will be in the same place it is on all M52s. So let's just go over what the EVAP system actually does. So as you guys will know, it's responsible mainly for emissions and it just prevents the fuel vapors in the fuel tank from escaping. Now, what it usually does is just controls the amount of vapor that is purged from obviously the charcoal canisters, which you'll find in your rear wheel arch. And what it also does is it's electronically operated with a solenoid and then it's controlled by the DME when to open and when to close when it feels that there's too much pressure coming from the fuel tank. When the engine is running under certain conditions, what will happen is the fuel vapors are then purged from the canister and burn inside the engine. Now, all that being said, you know, the purge valve is really, really important for cars this day and age. And the purge valve is an electronically operated solenoid that, like I said, is controlled by the DME. When the engine is off as well, that a lot of you may probably be aware, the purge valve is actually closed and when the engine is running and it's fully warmed up, obviously when all the sensors come into tech, because as you guys know, they run on open loop when the car's first code and then they go into closed loop. Now, when the engine's warmed up, the DME gradually opens up the purge valve to allow some of the vapors to be removed from the charcoal canister, which is in your rear foot, in your rear well, mostly 60s in the US, and burned in the engine, which is why a lot of you get carbon buildup on your M54s, because it's a common problem. You know, and the purge valve as well is monitored by a number of sensors on the engine, you know, and like I said, it will throw a check engine light if it does go down. The most common problem that I keep hearing about on you guys commenting is that it either sticking or it does not fully close and that will cause a check engine light in your car to stall and your car not to run properly because if that don't run properly, you will end up with your car not running right and then you'll have to fill it up to the top with fuel to make it run properly and the moment you get low on fuel that's when it usually give problems so the purge valve guys is located right down here on the engine electronics box which is under the manifold now you don't need to take the manifold off to get to it as you guys know it sits right down here which i'm trying to hold the light down there on the engine electronics side so if you remove your air filter which is this tube right here and you take this off you'll then have access to the throttle body and the purge valve sits on like a little rubber bracket that goes onto the bracket down there on the front underneath the throttle body itself and the engine electronics a lot of people end up thinking it sits under here i can assure you it doesn't it sits right down here which is on the engine electronic box right down there now you guys will probably see if you go and watch my manifold removal video you will then see how where it is and where it's located i'm trying to show you with the torch here but i don't think it'll be able to show you but it is located down here and you'll be able to get to it from just down there if you'll see it's hooked on to the actual bracket itself which is what the engine electronics they're held on by two torx 30s you, you'll feel it as you put your hand under and be able to disconnect it with the connector on it as well as soon as you take this pipe off you'll have to take the air box out to get to it and you'll easily be able to access it as well it is not a hard job to do and it's something that anyone can do with a bit of knowledge and skill. So guys, what I've done for you is I've took out the air box so I can now show you where the purge valve is actually located. Now, I'm gonna try and put the camera down here to see if you guys can see. If you can see right there, here at the back, where my hands are pointing, right there, that plug right there, that's your purge valve right there. Now, as you see, it's sitting on the junction box right here, which is under the engine. That's the part that you need to be replacing that will be your purge valve and that's the connector for the purge valve as well. So if you want to get to it, this is how you'd get to it. You need to take off the whole air hose and get the junction box, which is just like this. As you see right here, 
in the engine bay i've took it off and it's already there it's not hard to do i've had it off quite a few times it's quite easy access to it so don't be afraid to do it yourself guys it's something that anyone can do even yourself so as i said that's how you would get to the purge valve right down here and it sits behind all these connectors around here and around here and it'll be the one right on the end there which you'll see which i'm pointing at as a connector right at the back and it hooks onto a bracket it's got like a little rubber grommet and it cl clips on and again guys just to show you while we're outside of the engine you'll see right there as well again that's the connector and i just want to make sure you guys see it because i know a lot of people always message me asking where that is now if you're looking closely you can probably see the whole purge valve on there it's a whole system that connects onto the back of it and it's right there and it's located there obviously we can't get to it now because otherwise i'll have to take the whole manifold off but that is the purge valve that connects onto that junction box so just be aware that if you need to remove it you need to take this off to get to it it's not a hard job at all you could probably get it off without even having to take the junction box off if you can slide the rubber grommet off as well so guys that's the purge valve location and as i said it's not a hard job to do at all it just takes common sense and how to remove it and all you got to do is like i said remove the air filter box remove your intake duct to your throttle body if you want to take the 10 mils out the throttle body to give you better access to the junction box and just disconnect it, you'll be able to see it immediately the moment you remove the throttle body anyway and unplug it from behind. It's not a hard job to do it by any means and you don't need to remove the whole manifold to be able to get to it. Like I said, guys, you've seen me now just take off the air filter box and plug it back on this. Not hard at all. It requires two bolts and it comes straight off. This car's very, very simple to work on. Everything's within easy reach and easy access to get to. So don't think that you won't be able to do it. If you are looking to do it yourself, do it yourself, you'll save yourself a ton of money. Most garages don't know where it is and will try and charge you a fortune just to replace that part, which can you can do in probably five, 10 minutes flat. There's enough room in the engine bay, as you see there, just to complete everything you need to. Once this is out the way, you get a lot of room. So don't be afraid to do this yourself. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've just shown you now where the purge valve is or the vent valve as you guys know it as on the M52 engine. I know it wasn't very detailed, but you now get a drift of where it is and what you have to remove to get to it. It's something I'm asked constantly and a lot of people because there is no video on YouTube on where it's located and how to get to it. So I've done this video for all you guys who have been waiting for me to do this video to show you where it is. You can go and see it on my intake manifold video, which I will put at the end of this video on the end screen, where you will see where I had to remove it on the car that I removed the manifold on the M52 engine. What I'll also do is try and put a, just do a picture up in here on probably the top here to show you exactly where it is and what it looks like when it's found on the car so you know get a good idea of where the location is but that is exactly where it is that's the plug you need to pull out and that will be your vent valve so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys thank you very much for watching this bmw dr dean here please like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much and goodbye